Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Please subscribe this channel. At present, leagues are dominating the world in every sport, even in cricket league systems started in the previous decade. One such league is IPL. Indian Premier League started by Lalit Modi and BCCI in 2008. Now it successfully completed 16th season from being an unknown league to ruling the world. IPL came a long way. Even the teams were increased recently from 8 to 10. So now you will come to know how do IPL teams earn money and other information. IPL is a cricket league which happens for two months every year from March to May, having 10 teams which plays 74 matches totally. IPL can be said a super hit for many reasons, such as increased attendance, viewership, brand value, revenue, etc. When we compare broadcasting fee per match basis, IPL stands in second place, just behind NFL overtaking many global giants like EPL, NBA, La Liga, MLB. IPL's brand value saw a sharp jump from $1.8 billion in 2022 to $3.2 billion in 2023, which has grown by 80%. IPL's value further enhanced with the addition of two new teams, Gujarat and Lucknow. IPL 2023 has registered 505 million viewers on television. Even Star Sports said that this season IPL was their biggest season. The viewership watch time on Star Sports stood at 427.1 billion minutes. When we check the media rights for 2017 to 2022 Star Sports, paid 16347 crores. And the 2023 to 2027 cycle saw a huge jump of almost three times that of previous, which is 48390 crores, in which Viacom bought digital rights for 20500 crore rupees and the remaining bought by Star Sports. Geo Cinema has offered IPL for free to the viewers. This was a welcome change after declining viewership in IPL 2022 particularly during the first four weeks. The report stated that each week was showing a 30 to 35% drop in viewership as compared to the previous year. It was believed that the Indian audience was experiencing IPL fatigue, the report said. With digital rights moving to GeoCinema, the platform adopted a different strategy, free streaming of the IPL. Clearly, the strategy worked, with record-breaking viewership for IPL 2023. Also, IPL winning captain of CSK MS Dhoni 2 has given hopes of playing the next year's IPL, with the former India captain saying he will try to come back and play next year. Unlike other leagues, IPL is followed completely irrespective of the team. It is said that BCI is going to increase the number of matches played in a season to 94. In my opinion, it will cause fatigue to the viewers and public start losing interest. Then IPL will also become like other leagues where fans will follow matches of four to five teams, and matches will be held on weekends. One of the major reasons for consistent growth in IPL viewership is the period when the tournament takes place every year. The tournament is usually held in the months of April and May, when school, as well as college-going children, have summer vacations in India. Cricket is a game that is obviously very popular among the youth, and since the league takes place during the vacation period, the viewership among school and college children is always on a high every year. Moreover, the viewership among females has been increasing gradually over the years. Also, the tournament lasts for only about two months, which basically ensures that the audience is following the league continuously as longer tournaments might result in the audience getting bored after a point of time. Another major reason for high viewership is the timing of the matches. The matches usually start around 7.30, 8 in the night, and get over before 12. This period of 7.30 to 11.30 is crucial, as this is the time when most of the people are done with their daily work and are at their homes watching television for entertainment. A major strategy that was used in the initial years for increasing the viewership of IPL was to broadcast matches on Sony Max, a channel that was majorly used for broadcasting Hindi movies. Since the IPL was being broadcasted on non-sports channels as well, the IPL viewership kept on increasing. Gujarat and Lucknow teams were sold for 5,625 crores and 7,080 crores. They don't put huge amount of money to buy these teams unless they get profit and generate more money. Teams earn through different ways. Firstly, they get share amount from BCI. Secondly, through team sponsors, prize money, 
ticket sales and merchandise sales. They will tie with different brands and companies for some amount of money to print their brand on their jerseys, with money varying depending on where they want their name to be printed. Sponsorships alone form 20 to 30 percent of revenue for an IPL team. Ticket revenue. It is certain that the franchises with bigger stadiums have an edge in this aspect. Ahmedabad's Narendra Modi Stadium is the biggest stadium in terms of capacity, and ticket sales will definitely be more here. And also, they generate money by selling stakes. The winning price of IPL is very less, but by winning that brand value of the teams will be increased, like how Gujarat came recently. And by winning the cup, they have more brand value than Punjab. It can also be increased by adding star players in their teams. Example is RCB. Thank you very much for watching.